Hi friends, Candace Gillespie here with Candace's Canvases. Today I'm going to show you my first Happy Mail flipbook ever, and it is for my new friend Miyuki. Um, she connect, she contacted me through email and invited me to take part in this super fun um, Happy Mail um, pen pal. So here we go. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and comment. Leave a comment while you're down there um, in the comment section. And then also subscribe to my Facebook group page, Crafters Anonymous by Candace's Canvases, and help me build that crafty community. Um, my mailing address and all my social media links are posted down below in the description bar. So um, check those out. Okay, I took a 12 by 12 sheet of paper and I cut, I measured my envelope. I have a letter, a legal letter size envelope. So I measured that, it was just over nine inches. So I cut down the 12 by 12 to be um, nine by 12, nine by, what? Yeah, nine by 12. And then I scored it um, four and then at eight inches along the um, 12 inch side. <clears throat> then I scored it at a diagonal from one corner up. I think it was about five inches, maybe six inches up. I really eyeballed it is what I did. Um, and then I um, folded it, I cut that line and then I folded it in an accordion style and this is how I have this kind of diagonal flip book. Now I'm just gluing on some pockets and let's see, this is just a scrap here. You can tell and I used some fancy scissors and I made it a little border there. And some stickers. I subscribed a while back to um, the Hip Kip Club and there was one other one. I can't remember, but I have a ton of little chipboard pieces, ephemera pieces, these cute stickers that came with them. So I really am not able to tell you where everything is from. I just take everything out of the package and I put them all in this pile. So these are just some puffy stickers that say so sweet and I kind of decided I wanted to go with like a yellow and a green theme. <clears throat> so I'm taking this stamp set. This stamp set was a bonus that I got from the Stamps of Life and um, every now and then they just throw a little something special in there and I think this was was it December that they sent that one with their the um, Die Hard kit? When they sent out the Die Hard kits. And the Die Hard kits from the Stamps of Life are, um, it's, a, it's a monthly subscription and you get a Stamps, the, an ex, Stamps of Life exclusive stamp set and you get coordinating dies with it. I think you can, there's a stamp set club where you just get the stamp set and um but why not get the dies too you know <laughs> so here i just have these alphabet um stamps these are from stampin up a long time ago i have no idea if they're still available in their catalog but you can contact my stampin up friend tarina i'll leave her link down below in the description bar also and i stamped on there miyuki it was funny when we were um, doing the email exchange. I'm like, okay, how do you pronounce your name? I wanted to say Mayuki, and so I kind of phonetically spelled it out. I'm like, is it like this or is it like that? And she, she emailed me back. It's M E hyphen Y O U hyphen K E Y <laughs> Miyuki. Okay. Perfect, I get it. Thank you so much. <laughs> so I'm glad we're friends now, Miyuki, and this is just such a fun part of my paper crafting life is um, looking forward to your mail. And look, I, I love building these little flipbook things. So thank you for inviting me to do this and to take part of this. Here is a, um, it's kind of like the, what size? I want to say 
a five by seven maybe note card <clears throat> and um, I just cut that down to fit into that panel and I am going to write my mail tag on this so I just have the letters TAG on here and then I'm going to do a shadow stamp in a darker color and I'm going to achieve that just by offsetting it a little bit and it's just going to kind of look like you know dimensional Then I'm going to cut those out, just kind of in a rectangle. I'm not going to cut it too, you know, fussy cut it too much. And then I'm going to layer those on some paper. Can't remember which color, green, yes, because my theme was yellow and green. So I'm just giving these about an eighth of an inch border all the way around. I'm going to cut each one of those out again. And I love this washi. I think I got it at Michael's. And um, it's just one of my favorites. And I'm so sad when I use it up, I'm like, oh. That means I'll have less time with you, but that's fine because I have to share the joy, right? <laughs> so I wrote, um, I with my marker, I wrote mail on top of that T. I don't know if I got that on video or not, but um, so that it said mail tag. So she wrote me a few questions and I answered them in a letter. And then, so I thought about it. Googled some possible questions to ask on a mail tag, and um, I realized I spelled college wrong. I spelled collage. <laughs> I do that. I just, I think faster than I write, and my husband keeps a list of all my missed misspells and miss sayings. <laughs> I'm like, I'm awful at it. So I was really nervous at first of getting invited to be a part of this. <laughs> because I'm like, oh my gosh, if my husband has a heyday um, correcting me, I just, I feel bad for someone who has to read my letters, but without spell check on, spell check on the computer. But that's a part of life, right? I'm a mom, I have kids, I'm used to spell check on computers, it's, what are you gonna do? So I'm sure I'm not the only one. <clears throat> I'm positive, actually. Um, this is a tag that I scored a, at half inch on the bottom and I'm going to make this my washi sample tag and just starting the washi on the back there and ending it also on the back so it's nice and smooth and I think I wrapped it like maybe four times or something I'm not sure and then of course I have to share my favorite washi it's all the luggages so cute. It just feels so vintage and it feels so perfect for snail mail, happy mail. I just decorated um, a, an envelope I sent to my sister-in-law <clears throat> using that washi. It's just so cute. This is yellow washi with gold pineapples and polka dots. Now I'm going to use that half inch um, section there and I'm going to glue it down and then I'm going to glue a pocket on top of this. That way you can't really see the seam, it's just going to be there, the little flippy part. I'm using this as my favorite seam binding and um, I will also leave a link in the description bar below. I get it from Amazon and it's this huge roll and I dye it any color I want using just <clears throat> my Ray Inkers. And it's just so pretty and it's full and fluffy. So I love it. I love to use it. It's, I mean, for tags, gift wrap, for almost everything. <laughs> and just tying some linen thread just in a knot in the back. And that's going to give it some character there. And I'll just trim those down. And then these are some tags I'm going to include and I'm going to wrap 
some of my favorite seam binding ribbon around it. So I can give, I can share that with Miyuki also. And I'm going to take my favorite washi tape <coughs> and cut out some, a little chunk of luggage here and then use that to um, hold the end in place. And this little pocket, or this little, it's kind of like a Project Life card. I'm just scoring that at a quarter inch on three sides and then cutting off the two bottom corners. And then I'll glue this on. And those gussets on the side and the bottom, those are helpful for, for when you put chunky stuff in a pocket. And I'm placing this pocket right above that scored line there so that this tag will flip up over that and not the pocket won't impede on the free, to, free movement of the tag. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> So we have some die cuts in here, in this pocket, and there's just a cute little quote on there and I cannot remember what it says. There's the mail tag and that's the front. This flips up. Then in here, this pocket's done drying. In here, I wanted to share some of my gold gilding flakes. So I got a bag and I put some in there. Just gonna fold that up and put some washi over it. I love the gold gilding flakes, <laughs> they're so fun. Okay, this is just a part of a project life card that I cut to fit this bag and I'm just going to write on top of it gold gilding flakes and then I'll use washi to secure that on there. Time to decorate that pocket now, of course. So I have this taco truck die cut. So cute. This little frame. So I'm gluing the frame down first. That way the taco truck can sit kind of popped up. Using some good old puffy tape.
cute. I love it. <laughs> this is so fun. I'm having so much fun making these flip books. <laughs> I'm planning all the people I want to send them to. I sent one to my friend Tarina. <laughs> I tried my first ever envelope flip book. Those can get tricky, I feel like, the folds. <laughs> so I told her, bear with me. I'm going to get better at them <laughs> in the meantime. I'm thinking of you, you know, they're fun. Who cares if they're not perfect? What is the standard of perfect anyway? So I'm just using this yellow with the gold pineapple to accent it. Okay, on the inside here, let's see. Okay, now I am going to put this aside and I'm going to make a little book to insert in the middle of it. This is some old, um, well, it's not old. It's only old by like a few months, but I made a junk journal out of tea stained paper and I tea stained a lot of paper, so I have a bunch of extra. And so I decided to make Miyuki a book out of it, a little notebook. And so I'm cutting it down to fit inside of this um, flip book. And I originally thought that it might be able to fit in a little pocket, but it turns out that it doesn't fit. <laughs> so I still wanted to send it. So I just put it in the middle and you'll see in the end where I put it. So I'm just staggering these little pieces with the bigger pieces, the rainbow paper <clears throat> with the um, regular blank paper. Hi Charlie. Charlie Dog decided to join me. <laughs> Oh, and Jacob. <laughs> I tried to hide in one of our spare rooms, but everybody ended up finding me. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, so I, um, when I was on my tea staining kick, I stained some scrapbook paper. So that was that green paper on the side you saw. I am going to take some pH neutral PV, PVA, wait, PVC. Oh, great, now I can't remember. Anyway, my favorite glue to use, and I have spread some on some um, cardstock, some craft cardstock, and then I um, just glued on this scrapbook paper onto it, just to give it some sturdiness. And then now I'm going to poke my holes, so I'm lining everything up. I put a foam pad underneath, and I'm getting a pokey tool. You can use a safety pin, an owl, um, or an awl. Sorry, they call them awls. This is a Stampin' Up! pokey tool. You can use anything that you have on hand to do that. This Tim Holtz ruler is awesome because on one side it has the regular ruler and on the other side it has a centering ruler. So I just use that centering feature. Super easy. I'm just doing one um, long stitch kind of se sequence here. So I came up through the middle toward the outside and then back in on the top. Clearly I didn't line my holes up very well because <laughs> I had to force it through, but it worked fine, worked out fine in the end. And then back through the middle to the outside in through the bottom. And then here is where I kind of tighten it up and then I feed I feed um, the longer end through the top there just like that wrap it around and then I tighten it and then tighten the knot and when I pulled it really tight it snapped off so Miyuki I hope this book is um, lasts you. <laughs> Hope it doesn't fall apart. 
I just love how vintage it feels. I love the tea stained paper. The only downfall with the tea stained paper is that it is acidic, so 50 years from now, the acidity might affect it. It won't affect it in the short term, but um, it's just so pretty though. So then here are these coupons. Um, my husband and I participate in this insurance thing and we get all these coupons and I love to keep the ones that we get instead of buying a big roll because they have that used look and feel from them so it, it you know it makes it, them look and feel vintage so I just kind of um, divided up the book in every few pages I folded one on, on in half and then I stapled them to the top with the my Tim Holtz um, tiny attacher. there it is. So I do add some stamping and some stickers on the inside. I'm bringing back the little three hearts. I have vertical hearts and horizontal hearts. So I'm just stamping it, um, inking it up with my Hello Honey. Is that what it is? The, um, the Distress Oxide. It was the second set that was released. I can't remember which yellow that is, but I'm just going here and there and just kind of randomly flipping pages and stamping those in there. So here's where I thought, oh man, it's not going to fit in a pocket if I put a pocket right here. That was my original plan, Miyuki, but it just didn't work out. And that's okay because when you flip it open to the, wait, to the left, you flip it open right here, I just split it in there and it just fits perfect, so that's fine. And then I'm going to make a sleeve to go around it, a little band bringing in this green paper. I think I trimmed it at one and a quarter inches and I made it just long enough to wrap around it and have some extra so I could glue it. I'm using my paper distressing tool here and distressing up those edges. Oh, this is where I'm adding the stickers on the inside. I'm just cutting out little chunks of luggage and I'm putting them here and there throughout the book. It's all following a theme, you know. That's what I really like about this washi too, is you can just cut out groups of it and it's like a sticker. I love washi like that. What am I saying? I just love washi. <laughs> there we go. Okay, gonna center this and glue it down. decided to um, stamp those hearts out there. You couldn't see them very well, so I took the 
walnut stain and I ended up using that. And you could see it just enough, just enough to where it looks, I don't know, like it's, you know, old, which is awesome. Because I bet these papers are probably a total of like maybe two years old, you know? But when you tea stain them and I don't know, I love that you can <laughs> make them look really old like that. So this is just a little die cut piece that I'm gonna include. It says sparkle every day and it's got gold glitter on it. And I noticed that it was cut kind of um, side, well, not totally centered. So I just trimmed off a little piece to center it and then I'll glue that down onto the band. And then I'm using the same twine that I bound the book with to wrap it around. Tying a little bow and adjusting the, white, the twine so that it's just under that sentence. I'm almost done here. Let me think, I'm trying to remember what I did next. This gives you an idea of flipping through it, what you, what Miyuki got to see. This was a whole big part that I should have cut out, but I can't remember why I didn't. <laughs> Sorry. Well here, we'll just look at what's on my desk here. There's some washi tape up in the corner, acrylic blocks, three pairs of scissors. Oh, that's what I was doing. I was looking through my uh, book that I have stickers in. And here I have um, the Tim Holtz phrase stickers and that one says, make a wish. And then I found this cute little pattern sticker that I thought would go perfect on the cover of this book. So that finished off this book. And I started to peel it off like, oh, do I need to glue that on there? But I think it stuck just fine. You'll have to tell me, Miyuki, if it was all together when you got it. <laughs> Adding more stickers as I go. I can't remember what that sticker said. And so now I am just going to start separating some stickers to give to her. So I, I um, fast forwarded, of course, my cutting out of all these sti different stickers. And so I put them in the top little pocket here. I put some extra coupon tags in there, ticket tag things. This is some acetate that I have that has a wood grain pattern on it. I'm just using this score tape to adhere it into the inside. And this is where my letter ended up going. And I tried to make it puffy. It, it wasn't quite big enough to where I could score it and put it down. So what I did was I put my bone folder there in there. And then I, oh, that's what I did. I put the gilding flakes in there so that it, it had some room in there because my letter, I, I fit it in there, but the letter was kind of thick. <laughs> so here's me kind of decorating the envelope. And we have just about two more minutes left where I'm just kind of showing you some of the decoration of the envelope. Um, I did, I always end up adding more to it as I have it and look at it throughout the night or the next day before I mail it. So here I just measured the envelope and then I cut a piece of that coordinating patterned paper and I glued it on there. <clears throat> and that gave me some extra rooms 
some extra room because the flip book <coughs> was thick and um, just the little, the regular flap there wasn't enough. So, so I had to add some extra paper and it made the envelope look really fun anyway. So I'm fine with that. Gluing on one of these tickets. And then I have this date stamp that I just decided to um, stamp along the front. And real quick, I wanted to show you, I stamped my little initial stamp on there. And the three vertical hearts it all goes together the hearts are inside this thing inside the little book so why not put them back there too and here I'm just stamping a bunch of times the date and just um, off what is it they're not totally straight and I like that my stamp chamois do you guys have a stamp chamois yet from Lawn Fawn they're amazing <laughs> So I ended up doing more to it, but here's some still pictures. This is what it looks like. I put a band, a belly band around it. When the belly band is off, this is the front, the inside where my letter is, and you saw me build the rest. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, like this video, and leave a joyful comment, and we'll talk again soon. Bye, crafty friends.